Almost maxing. Hello. Dad or. Shit. It has a cap <sighs> Well, I wanted to go for anti disestablishmentarianism. Oh, oh, yes, I have to read it out. Hello and welcome to Taskmaster episode one. Uh, I am Luke. I am your Taskmaster today. Uh, I'm joined by, of course, my beautiful assistant Dan. Uh, good to have you here. Thank you, boss. But remember, boss, yep. gaffer, um, manager, yeah, uh, God, all official titles that I expect you to call me by throughout the program. Yes. Good. Yes. Uh, with to our to my right, uh, we have four contestants. Uh, let's start on the left. Uh, Will, say hello. Hello, I'm Will. Um, that one. Hello, I'm Will. Um, yes. Good. Hamena. Hi. <laughs> also excited for the show. Um. Yeah, it should be good. Confident in winning. No, not at all. <laughs> I have no. Just no. I love this. A great start. <laughs> Up next. Hello. Don't look at me. I'm, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I wait, but you said everyone else's name, but not my name. Because I thought you'd want to introduce I'm Tom. Hello, everyone. And again, confident in winning? No. <laughs> not at all. So I'm loving the atmosphere so far. And last but not least. Hi, I'm Jenny. And are you looking forward to the show? Uh, do you think you have it's played to your strengths? I don't <laughs> <laughs> it's played to something, whether they're my strengths. How exciting. We'll find out. We're optimistic here at first. <laughs> we have really high hopes of ourselves, don't we? I don't even know why we're here, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but to start off, uh, we're going to have our first prize. Uh, do you want to explain it a bit, Dan? Yes, the first task is a prize task, and we've asked them to bring in their most northern item. <laughs> so, Hamena. Would you like to explain your northern item? Yes, I would. Um, so <laughs> my um, <laughs> my most northern item is my wonderful friend and flatmate Becky. Um, she is from near Darlington, very northern. She might hate me for saying this, but practically Scottish, but not Scottish, still northern England. <laughs> um, so she'll say like book and kook and like all of that kind of stuff. So so, so just to clarify, whoever wins this episode gets. Yes, you get to take mate. Becky home. Okay. Yes. So um, so. And now, now I realise that a person might not class as an item, but I just I think that's incorrect, really, and I think okay. Becky is my most northern item. Have you just okay. described a woman as an object, Hermione? No, no. <laughs> she's, Becky is not an object. <laughs> she is an item but for the purposes <laughs> of this task. I think they're one and the same. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're on about, but yeah. Okay. That's Becky. Good start. Jenny. <laughs> yes. What's your most um, northern item? I am from very far south. Everything scares me a bit here. <laughs> so I've gone for a bottle of Henderson's Relish, half dr half used, not half drunk. <laughs> Don't drink it straight from the bottle. <laughs> I use it in sauces and cooking. Old branding, so it's vintage. I do not like the new branding. Controversial, maybe. <laughs> don't even know how to respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> why, why don't we respond by looking at Will's most northern <laughs> So uh, Now, Will, you are actually northern. I am actually classified as possibly the only northerner here, <laughs> apart from Dan himself. And, Luke. and Oh, and... Is, uh, only contestant that's not... Uh, that's and the only contestant and our Lord and Savior that is the actually master. northern. So I thought, oh, I'd bring <laughs> in, an, in something which I love dearly, which uh, these are some Cars pasties, and they they tell themselves that they are the best pasties in Bolton. And Did you go home to get these? <laughs> no. Whenever, uh, whenever I come home, I make my dad go to the car shop, and he brings me back about Take 12 of these. Shop is. Have you just got these out your freezer this morning? Yes. <laughs> I don't think I've seen sadder packaging before in my life. It might look sad. That's quite upmarket for Bolton, to be fair. <laughs> Might look sad, but they taste amazing. I was going to pre-cook them, and then uh, I didn't. Okay, thank you, Will. <laughs> and finally, Tom. Okay. Your item. I need. There's a lot of reasoning behind this because what you will see is a very conventional, traditional, but there is a twist. 
<laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> the reason they're decaf is because I wanted to channel the most northern item from the lens of myself, mm-hmm. which is a southerner. And you know, northerners don't need don't need no decaf. You know what I mean? They're they're always ready to go and stuff. A decaf is a very Tory move. You know what I mean? I'm I like confused. the logic. <laughs> I don't know why, but I like the logic. <laughs> You've seen more uh, puzzling is that's been taken from our kitchen. <laughs> we have normal Yorkshire tea. Yeah. <laughs> so you consciously the made the effort to bring decaf for this strange rationale that you have. And there's more tea bags in that one than the other one. Oh, that's all right. Then. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've seen their four northern items. Do we get scored on this? You do get scored. So which do you think? That's was the worst. That's <laughs> rubbish. That. That, that's really rubbish. Um, oh. Next, it's got to be Helena's friends. <laughs> <laughs> she is the most northern, though. None of these items come from further up north. Wait, so she is the hold most on. I have she's not an item. I yeah, agree. Yeah, but you put the item <laughs> below her than the thing that's not an item. Yeah, but that's because yours, yours is pity. Because yours is actually yeah, offends me. Yeah, but at least I, met, I did the criteria. <laughs> no, yours offends me. <laughs> so, so, so just to clarify, you're definitely putting Tom last. Tom is absolutely last. 100%. And then... And then Hamena. Hamena next, because lie, at Forge we don't all objectify women. <laughs> I'm not objectifying her. I love her dearly. Hamena, please, okay. the men are talking. Hamena. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really torn between these two because I think you've actually done a really good job. However, <laughs> I, I, the thing that pips it for me is I think the Henderson's vintage retro <laughs> relish because everything in the north is slightly outdated. <laughs> so I think it's an accurate representation so of <laughs> going up to somewhere that feels like you're back in the 80s. <laughs> so so by that logic, I'm going to say uh, Will is second and Jenny is first. So Jenny wins the prize task. Jenny wins well the prize done, task. Jenny. So um, <laughs> on to our first task. Yes, the first task, and continuing with the food theme, uh, we've asked them to do a bit of spelling. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I, didn't oh, I can oh, tell no. you all know what's about oh, to go. Oh, I'm ashamed of myself for this. Oh, what's this? I like this. Okay. Spell the longest word you can with the contents of this spell. The word must be in the dictionary and be spelled correctly. You have one minute. Your time starts now. Oh, God. Oh, this is so gross. Are you going to eat this afterwards? We'll start with last winner. Jenny, how did you feel this one? So, I forgot about the time limit. (laughs) Yeah, same. Try try not to ruin it too much. Oh, okay. Without spoilers, I forgot about the time limit. (laughs) (laughs) That's all you need to know for now. Tom? (laughs) Out of the vast array of tasks, I think this is probably the one I'm the most confident in. But I don't think that's saying very much. I, I'm genuinely ashamed of my knowledge of the English language for this <laughs> one. That's all I'm going to say. And Will? Well, um, it's the longest word possible, but if it's a Scrabble score, oh. I think I've done okay for a Scrabble score. But it's not long at all. <laughs> yeah, we're That's not, not what the task <laughs> says. I, I should clarify, yeah, we're asking them for the longest word they can spell that is in the Oxford English Dictionary. What about Webster's? Look, I don't. <laughs> I don't. What Mary about Hamena's dictionary? <laughs> look, look, you've done it now, okay? <laughs> and unlike the real show, we're watching them all at once because who has time to make multiple videos? You got deadlines and stuff. So let's see how they did. Um, right. Hmm. Am I allowed to use my phone? For help? I can't think of any words. My brain's gone. I have one minute. I can't even get an S the right way around. Oh my God, they're gross. I'm gonna use my phone. My tactic here is to look for vowels and uh, go, for, oh, this smells fucking grim. Um, we need a vowel, a vowel is good, so this A will do. Uh, I'm just gonna grab a few. I don't even know, what. what's that? Oh, a minute! Ah! Ah, A. Well, I wanted to go for anti-disestablishmentarianism, but with a minute, I don't think I'll have time. No, I'm trying to make one up as a guy. 
I don't have any vowels. Where are the vowels? What's that? That is, is that an O or a D? We're gonna call that an O. Cannot find a vowel. L O. Okay, that's my fall. My fallback is sex. Um. And another no, another P is just ideal. Are you a P? No, you're an R. You're a P. Oh God. No, it's not actually, is it? I've not even spelled a word to be honest with you. What have you spelled? S P O. I don't know what that means. Okay. That was a minute. We'll start with we'll start with Will because you seem the most competent. I would say, which says a lot. I think I came in there with a game plan. You know, I tipped it out on the table. It's I saw it through. Um, um, it was a you had your goal of anti disestablishment. Was that what you anti disestablishmentarianism? Of course. Uh, did time. you make? Did you reach it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Will in fact <laughs> fell back on sex. And <laughs> Same as always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Will. So it's a three. So a high that's score of three. That's a three. We're but an X three. is good in Scrabble. It is. It is. But Get on this a triple letter. Scrabble. Five. This, this isn't Scrabble. Isn't Scrabble. <laughs> uh, then, while we're on the topic of three-letter words, Hermena also had three <laughs> letters. But, but is it a word? It, no. it, it, it Spo. Spo is not in the dictionary. And was it actually an well, O or was well, it a G? No, it was an O. It was an O. Because by Either the time way. I finished squishing it, it was an O. But the thing is, <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I couldn't find any vowels. <laughs> And like a minute has never gone so quickly. Because <laughs> like I thought I'm on a roll. I just tipped them all out. And I was like, yeah, we've got this. And then I couldn't even get the S to write the right <laughs> stop. I mean, it just, it was, no, it wasn't. Could you not have even changed it to SOP? Yeah. Oh, oh. No, I, no, I know. I thought that after the, the minute was up, but. Very strict. On the topic of a minute goes quickly. Mm. Jenny, you <laughs> <laughs> you didn't make best use of your time. She was time. doing research. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what were you researching? <laughs> yeah, what was your game plan with the Googling? Yeah. Part of it was to make sure things were in the dictionary because that was on the task and I didn't want to get disqualified. Be silly. The other part <laughs> is I am dyslexic. Well, I was thinking this. Would you say it's easier or... Um, or harder spelling with spaghetti compared to actual writing for um, you? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't what know. Is that as a question? <laughs> Just interested. I think, but I do have a, I have a, I have, I have something to say. <laughs> Go on. Because despite my misuse of time, I still managed to get three letters on the bit of paper, which is the same as people that didn't use them. Were the three letters a word, though? Yeah, Jenny got L O N, which <laughs> is also what? not in the what dictionary. What I was aiming. <laughs> yes, Jenny! <laughs> <laughs> what my eventual aim was, oh, when I realised I only had a minute, was then to just write longest. Because then that I would have been clever. I would have given bonus points for that. The longest word, because that's it was really clever, actually. But I only it's, managed it's such long. a shame you didn't do got it. One. <laughs> and on the topic of the longest word, Tom I Buckland, uh, you did I, I did I get five? You got happy, which oh, is a oh, real oh, word. Oh, that's, that's so, so cute. Because I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So in that challenge, uh, <coughs> Will, no, not Will, Hermena and Jenny, you both got no points because you didn't spell real words. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Tom, you got a five-letter word, so you get four points. And, Will, you had the next longest word, and so you get three points. Hmm. Minion, what are the scores? <laughs> well, boss, after <laughs> the first proper task round, Will is in the lead on six points, closely followed by Tom Buckland on five, with Jenny in third with four, and Hermena is last with two. But it's all to play for, all to play for as us. we go into the next task. Which is you've you've seen the Forge TV logo, right? Uh, sadly, yeah. Uh, so you'd know you'd know what it looks like if you saw it. I do. Really no, back of my hand. Do you reckon you'd be able to make it if given ten minutes in a kitchen? I think I'd be able to make it pretty much exactly as it is. Well, then let's see how they did. I don't like it when there's like no set up. I feel a bit small. I'm scared. Should I sit? You can do whatever. Okay, I'm not gonna sit. 
Oh my god, I can't be bothered. Uh, make the Forge TV logo. You have 10 minutes, time starts now. Okay, I'm on it. Do you know what the logo looks like? Yes, I do, because I helped design it. Okay, so you don't see what we have to make it out of. So, I'm going... Exciting, Ooh. riveting content. Now, it is worth saying that all four of these people are on the Forge TV committee, <laughs> yes. have access to the Facebook page, and have at least one t-shirt with that logo how, on. How often would you say you see that logo? More days than I don't I was going to say it. nearly daily. I would say at least every day. Uh, so you should know it all fairly well. Mm -hmm. um, Hermione, you mentioned that you helped design it. Yeah, I feel like I probably advantage? shouldn't have said that, to be honest. Because um, I feel like I've set myself up to fail. Um, I'd like to think I know it, though. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Tom? Coffee. I can be. I could. I was more bothered than originally. Yeah, you didn't seem. <laughs> I didn't in. seem too thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> but I, yeah, I, I was more bothered when when the task came to push came to shove. Jenna, thoughts? I thought I was really smart in this one, but everyone else feels like they're really <laughs> smart. So, yay! Well, exciting. Well, can we just point out that I wasn't in the VT then? <laughs> Yeah, did you t were you here? <laughs> <laughs> I did do the task. <laughs> At least I think. Look. Did he do the task? Boss, I've had a lot on. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a stressful time. It is very stressful. I will allow it. However, <laughs> we'll, we'll need to talk after the show. He's in the next <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> now, these are the four logos that they managed to come up with. <laughs> as, as you can see, as you can see. What is that? What? <laughs> now, as you can see, they're a varying quality. I'm so confused. <laughs> what? What, oh, what are your initial thoughts? Um, that again, we've wasted so much time. <laughs> oh, this and is resource and actual resources as well. Like we people cook with this. Is this your kitchen? Did you say, Hermione? Like? Yes, this is my kitchen. I um, I don't know if this is going to spoil anything <laughs> later, but I don't know what happened. But um, I had no tomato puree <laughs> left after this. Oh, so yeah, this, uh, that was a different task, but is still an issue. Oh, great! <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just went and bought some new stuff. <laughs> okay, top right is is definitely the best. It's a tough one now. Yeah, just look at it on because. That. <sighs> Okay, and then I'll say bottom left is, is second. second. And then the colours are better. For, for creativity, I'm going to go top left is third, and then bottom right is, uh, is Last. the word. There we go. Okay, well, you now know the scores. Let's see how they actually made them. Right, I feel like I'll need a spoon. I'm going to try and find something that's free. I think I've got a call. Yeah, I do have a call. Do I open this? That's not open. Do I have anything? I'm just going to use it. It's not the right blue, but it's blue. And then it's square, so we'll try and make like a blue square. No. Okay, the knives are going away. <sighs> Do I remember what our logo looks like? Oh God. It's okay, everything's gonna be fine. So, um, I'm gonna do bubble lighting of Forge and then also draw the little TV thing. That's not a very good square, but I'm running out of time. Wait. Am I allowed to do this? I've not been told I can't. The, um, the experts in the art world will call this a collage. Um, I call it scissor time. I hate these things, I can't use them. I have 10 minutes, you say? See, I could really phone this in and just draw the shape and cut it. But you know what? I'm going to give you better TV than that. What? I keep thinking what makes blue, but blue is a primary colour. Is this 
That is me done. Oh, do you know what? Sometimes I'm quite proud of my own genius. This was... I am going to be so bold to say the smartest idea that any of the four people have done. Panic. Panic set in. That'll do. Yeah, could have done the G, but bad effort. That's forged for you. No, I think, um, I think I'm done. I think that's my masterpiece. The blue, not, not that. I'm thinking that I'm going Bye. So I have questions. <laughs> I, um, I also have many questions, but go on. Um, first of all, I, di I did like Jenny's. It reminded me of the, you know, the ones in Art Attack? Yeah. When he used to throw the salt on the floor and then he'd it draw it. It was inspired by something I did with my brownies. So I was like... Well, there you go. So clearly, <laughs> brownies have gone downhill then. <laughs> <laughs> As an institution. <laughs> Is that what we've really come to? Just chucking Doing salt on the floor? Doing my best. <laughs> 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 Limited resource. Um, I feel like, obviously, most questions have got to be directed to Will here. I agree. So was it... <laughs> Am I right in thinking that was kind of like a, a an, in, an abstract interpretation of the logo? It was an abstract interpretation of the colour blue in general <laughs> and also creativity and also collaboration because it's a bunch of collaboration of all of these blue <laughs> objects found in Hermena's kitchen I into, like the, the, meaning. into the forged nice logo. And I, I feel like you're just really... Uh, you just don't like creativity at all. No. You don't appreciate modern art. Can I just no. can I just ask I you don't. a quick you question? To the I, I will write that down. <laughs> like I, I just have a quick question. Um I just wanna know why you felt the need to start the task by just smearing half of my tomato puree <laughs> over a chopping board. That is a, and that then is just a fair leaving question, it there for will. ten minutes and put it in the same. That I like what that what it what also wasn't for the task. Yeah. Yeah. Like, That's not part of it but though. Yeah, don't what be was silly. The point of that? What was your thinking just behind the tomato puree situation? It gets all creative juices flowing, it's like Warm up you deserve <laughs> the, the lowest because of your <laughs> disrespect to, no, to resources <laughs> at your disposal. <laughs> the tomato puree <laughs> was originally going to be like Jenny's with the salt. Mm. And then. Um, Do you realise the I, logo's and blue? <laughs> <laughs> and Those famous to blue tomatoes. I tried to score in the tomato puree, but it wouldn't leave a mark. So I just had a tomato puree <laughs> on a chopping <laughs> I don't. Um, I feel like there's nothing else to talk about. <laughs> just just I will say that both of you, I thought, did a, an excellent job. Particularly, I mean, I, I, mean, thought that I was did miss out the forge part. Yeah, that, I, I will point know. out you put Tom second, and he had no forge what anywhere on it. What was the blue it. on yours? Was it? It was my baking dish. Yeah, my lasagna the, I dish. I used the dishes. And it was just like a shade of blue. It was just a dark. Oh, yeah. Yeah. but oh. I like. I would like to point out that although I didn't write forge, I very easily, like I said in the VT, I could have cut that whole thing out there and then because I was that smart to realize. Like, I love how you were using paper, but you were using the kitchen roll. Like, that paper yeah. was right in no, front no, of I you. No, I know. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but I found it quite easy because like, I got into a rhythm. I was basically doing origami for 10 <laughs> minutes, but my only problem was I got a bit cocky with it, so then I had a C instead of a G at the end because I was like, oh, I've got ages. Force TV. Force TV. Yeah. You see, the, these three prioritized speed. I prioritised art. It <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't was art, was it, Will? Was was <laughs> absolute bollocks. Will, <laughs> Will also started the task by taking a phone call, which meant we had to pause for yeah. about two minutes. Anyone important? I, I think it was remember. your bank. Oh, it was my bank. <laughs> <laughs> it was my bank, yeah. Um, they wanted me to open up an ISA. You rested on your laurels too much. Will. I know. <laughs> you were first place until this disrespect. I'm <laughs> four in my D way Did back. you open an ISA? No. <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> I'm glad we got to the end of that. So obviously you judged them anonymously, mm -hmm. but after that task, Tom is in the lead on eight, closely followed by Will with seven, and then Hermena and Jenny are joint last Aww. with six. Six, that's not a lot far, it's still all to play for. It's very tight as, very we, close. as we go into the final task. Now, you've... Uh, you've seen the lake near campus, right? I have, yes. What Big do you reckon... Thing? Well, unlike their logo, <laughs> unlike it's the logos, actually yeah. blue. Um, <laughs> what do you reckon would happen if we did a task next to the lake? Um, we'd have a HR problem. <laughs> yes. <laughs> not another one, Dan, please. We've only reco not recovered from the last yet. Look, let's just <laughs> watch and see what happens.
Oh. Oh wow, a tangerine on a bench. Get this orange into the mug in as few hits as possible. The orange must only be hit. The orange must never be carried. If you take longer than 10 minutes, you will be disqualified. Your time starts now. Well, I can't, okay, then I can't touch it on the bench. No, you can put it on the ground. But that's carrying it. It's not. That is by default carrying it. So yeah, basically the task was they had to hit or transport an orange into a mug a couple of metres further along the lake in as few hits as possible. They weren't allowed to carry it. However, I well, think... Was that the only rule, just to clarify, that they can't carry they the could, orange? They couldn't, they couldn't carry the orange. There was lots of room for interpretation, but they couldn't carry the orange. I see. Now, Tom, do you want to deal with your... <laughs> do you want to deal with your no, issue now or after? We need to witness. I don't want, uh, to be fair, uh, with this one, I'm thinking there's a lot of room for creativity. In a word, summarise what you think of your efforts for this one. Dyspraxic. <laughs> <laughs> Always playing the disabled card. <laughs> Dyspraxic. Should have sh signed up for the show, should you? <laughs> Tom. Questionable. <laughs> Helena. I want to say not bad, but that's two words. So that's about five words. <laughs> <as well. laughs> um, mediocre. Mediocre. Okay. Well. <laughs> Sporty. Sporty. Ooh. Exciting. Ooh. Well, I'm hooked, Dan. <laughs> I'm absolutely thrilled to watch this again. Let's have a look. <laughs> Continuous hit. Okay, no. That that was one hit. Oh, I have to play on the ground. Oh shit! What if I? And then I'm sliding it. I'm not carrying it. I'm sliding it on the hockey stick. Right, one. The rules didn't say. The rules didn't say. <laughs> that missed. Well, it's all in little bits now, so what do I, what do, I do? Um... Oh dear. <laughs> Bye, Orange. <laughs> Nope. So you've given me two sports tasks so far, and I'm not very good at them. It's gone now. I'm not going to try and get it. This is quite tedious, actually. Balls. OK, I'm doing that bit. That's my audition to uh, the University of Sheffield hockey team. If you wanna, if you wanna catch me up on that offer. Um, cheers. Now there's a lot to digest from that. There is mainly orange, to be fair. Um, so just reiterate the exact word of the challenge again. Wow, funny you should ask. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Tom has an issue with how the task was phrased. I read it for everyone again. 
Because one of the things that shook me out was when you were carrying the orange going, it wasn't yeah. in the rules, but I'm fairly sure that was in Get the rules. Get this orange into the mug in as few hits as possible. The orange must only be hit, the orange must never be carried. If you take longer than 10 minutes, you will be disqualified. Your time starts now. It's not about what's on the paper, it's about what's not. That orange started on the bench. Did I get told where I needed to put it down? No. My plan um, was to carry it over, put it down in front of the mug, and whack it in. I was not told, you can look at it yourself, there's nowhere on that paper that says that I had to put it down where I found it. From just a, in the spirit, from, though. from a production point of view, I did tell all of them to put the orange down on the floor before they started. It didn't say yes. on the paper, though, did it? It didn't, but I the person told you. See, I can't decide I what's mean, worse. Before my contempt for Tom or my contempt for you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> and it's what? just a weighing up of which, which one is more. I'm more passionate about... Bef Go just on. to clarify, I was not going to just carry it and put it in the mug. I was going to carry it towards the mug and then hit it in because it didn't tell me where I had to put it down. I was still going to hit it into the mug, just a lot closer. Yeah, but, but, but the producers to told you to put it on the floor by the bench. So that's what the three but of us what did. What doesn't play by the rules? I, do you not recall in every other task only being told what to do by the sheet alone? <laughs> Dan, <laughs> Dan frequently says everything you need to know is on the sheet. That is true. I say that on average four times a minute. <laughs> but when we try and ask him if we can do something. But I would say... <laughs> it's, you're the taskmaster. See, it's a shoddy production all around. It is. <laughs> that's the Forge TV <laughs> special. But do I, do I buy into the shoddy production or do we punish it? Would you like to know <laughs> their actual scores before you start Go on, let's, let's see the scores. So... Comes in second. Basically, no, Will and Tamena were the only people to get the orange, or at least part of an orange, <laughs> into the mug. Tamena got the full orange, <laughs> and it took her eight hits if you include each time she put it back on when it fell off when she was sliding. Which, it. personally, I didn't count but that you as a are hit, carrying but it. But no, it's see I that thought this I'm is sliding it. It was I would to pick it up and put it on the I would, I would agree with Tom that I would say the motion of grabbing it and putting it onto no, the end of the house. carrying, carrying yeah. it. No, is she just One thing I'm surprised none of you did is pick up the mug and put it no, over No, no, I orange. found this out mm. afterwards and I wish I'd fought that way around. Yeah, yeah. I created a big Same. old kerfuffle with it all. <laughs> well, one of you would, would be Would you smart. like the definition of carry? Uh, go for it, why not? To take or support from one <coughs> place to another, i.e. convey or transport. I, 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 would, I would say, first of all, that... The producer's word is is God because if we go against him, I don't think he'll last much no, longer. No, but the, your your word uh, is God. Yeah, it you is. are the taskmaster. Uh, but he's he is my, the voice of God. He's the Pope to my God, and Aww. the Pope's oh, never wrong. Um, no, in the history of the in world, the history of the Catholic no Church, pope the Pope's has never, never lied. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so by that logic, I would say sorry, Tom, but you are disqualified. It's fine. Um, I'd also s argue that, that lifting the orange to put onto the end of the hockey stick is indeed carrying it. was a it. clever idea. I'm really sad because I genuinely thought that was a genius idea. Also, that really hurt my knees. <laughs> 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 what <laughs> what a shame. It counted for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sad because I genuinely okay, thought that was one rate, of my best ideas. At this rate, I think so most of us are getting a fight. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. So well, there's one person who isn't. I would say that the nothing on this specifies it has to be the whole orange. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say by that logic, w Will has won well, the challenge. Will took 20 hits to dismember his orange and then get a bit of it I in the mug. I would beg to differ. Because he had <laughs> more of the orange not in the mug than there was in the mug. <laughs> Sorry, Will. There was still orange in the mug. There was orange it in the mug. get this orange, not part of yeah. this <laughs> orange. It doesn't say get all of this orange, though, either. It just says get this orange. There was bits of that orange in the mug. If I'm not allowed mug. to start the task where I please, <laughs> <laughs> so orange does not include a slight peel of said orange. <laughs> so just to clarify, you're disqualifying Fruit. Tom. Uh, everyone, <laughs> Tom. except Will. Okay, so... <laughs> Wait, does that mean he automatically gets four points yeah, for getting a piece of orange get in a mug? You to assign him a point. Is that what you'd like to do <laughs> if you've disqualified everyone else? you don't have to give him four points. It, we've, got, we've got a challenge left, haven't we? No. no, no this, this is, is the prizes. final task this of this episode. This is the final prizes. Oh. This is the final task of he this episode. Nice. Becky. Remember well, that, George? We don't way. know that yet, Jenny. Build the tension for the But viewers. remember, what, what's the what's remember what's that Forge TV. Can we also get you overall scores? How many? Right, so how I need to stress how about. So, how so about just, okay, just how about to this? clarify, we have definitely ex um, disqualified Jenny and Tom and Tamena. 
How, yes, absolutely. Okay. I'm so sad about that. I How really many, am. So, so for the whole orange, if he got the whole orange in, that would have been four points. However, it was a small amount of the orange. Let's say one percent of the orange. About one percent. I don't think it was more than that. Would you it say still you were there? It was How still percent? like a little, a a little piece. How, How, if you, if you had to put it, it was if a sizable amount of orange. If you had to put it, it down, sizable. <laughs> I'd say it was at least 5%. 5%. Five percent. So what? To an an. 4 divided to by an 20 an, that's a lot of orange. is 0.2. So 0.2 points. You want to give him 0 0.2 points? 0 0.2 points, <laughs> points okay. please. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> I'm glad this was done. Just the most point. Yeah, I feel I feel less sad about he getting zero for that four now. Four after that Forge TV no. logo. I know it's a different section entirely, but still. I'm hurt well, by this. But I'm also, by a bonus your. point for actually doing the challenge, so we'll make it one point too. Okay. okay. I did it! Yeah, but you cheated. Oh, no, I'm fuming <laughs> at that. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, <laughs> going off the sheet, I can't argue with the sheet. The sheet maybe I if, if it's, the if it's, There's a Dead ranking of, of, of responsibility in this show. It goes Dan, me, then the sheet. If you think my word is God, the sheet's word Fuck is you, sheet. gospel. I'm just glad that I nearly, I nearly got my way. Well, the final scores are in joint last, Hermena and Jenny. <laughs> it's a good effort. In no, second, don't don't patronise them. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Uh, in second place, Tom Buckland. I'll take it. Which means the winner of Forged as Taskmaster Episode One is Mr. Will Kirkpatrick. Please collect your northern items. <laughs> <laughs> That's all from us this week. Stay tuned for episode two. Bye. 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 <laughs> Are we done now?